Hello there, welcome to another week on our channel. Now we're at Gemma's this week, she's going to show us some table decorations for you that you can use over Christmas. Right Gemma, so what are we going to do this week? Well, do something that is easy to do, there's no wet foam, it's very simple and it's a base you can put on your table or if you wanted you could put it on a mantelpiece, over a door, uh, and windows and we thought we're going to decorate it with just foliage so that could be foliage in the garden I've actually bought mine from the wholesalers so you could go to a florist and order it for the same um, and then we're going to do it for the table and then we're going to show you different ideas on how you can decorate it for you so whether that's for a party, Christmas or just something for your table whichever way you decorate then we'll make the base and then you can take it from there so I've made some string, I've just plaited it, and that's going to be the length of uh, the design that I want on the table. It's going to be like a swag, so it's going to be a swag of foliage so you can decorate it how you want. So all we've got is the string of the length. You can use uh, a twig, I've used twigs before, or even um, wire, aluminium wire I've used before. Now the foliage I'm going to use, uh, I've got some eucalyptus. Now if you've got some eucalyptus, you can have it in the garden, I think the dog... <laughs> Granddad's just going to get me other one. I think the dog's pitched it. It's fell on the floor. My little puppy. Um, you can use some foliage out the garden. So this is eucalyptus. You can take it out the garden if you want to. Or rosemary is a nice one. You get that nice smell. Um, and because it's going to be dried, these are, the, these are the foliages that will last very, very well. So you've got eucalyptus. This is ruscus. This is what they call hard ruscus. And it'll keep its leaves very well. And this is your leather leaf. Um, and this will keep its values really well as well. So that's why I've chosen these. If you have rosemary or herbs at the garden, because we're not using wet foam, you may get some leaf drop. Use a Christmas tree or pine. After a while, it smells mm. lovely, but after a while, it's going to drop its we'll leaves. Dry out, won't it? Yeah, okay. so you need to be very careful of that. Now, my table is very rustic, isn't mm. it? Uh, and I don't mind anything being spilt on it so I'm not precious on the table it's very a rusticky table so if you've got a really nice table you put a runner down first or you could even have a long plank of wood with some mm -hmm. nails in to help attach these to it with some um, mats underneath like cork those little cork uh, mm -hmm. stoppers or felt pads mm -hmm. so it's safe on your table we're not going to put anything that's wet on so um, at the moment so if you want to protect your table, just think about that. You can always put a runner down, you can always back it with some um, sort of plastic material, polythene. yeah, polythene, polythene yeah. Mm. to keep it uh, from that. Or you could lay some trays down, some little floristry trays if you really, really want to, if you've got a precious table. But ours isn't, is it, my table? Yeah. <laughs> so we're fine on this one. But anyway, we'll show you and then you can take it from there. So, should we get cracking, Dad? We'll get cracking. Right. We're going to take your foliage. Now, these are in quite long lengths, so I don't quite want it that long, because you imagine this is going to be like a garland. They're going to stick out quite a lot on your table. So I'm just going to cut them into little lengths, and these are going to be nice little swags. So then you're going to cut these. So these spare ones you can use as well. So what you're going to do is just gather them together. You can cut the excess off after. Then you've got your nice foliage here. These you can take off and add them in. Because it's all dry, it's not in wet foam, so we don't really need to try and protect that. You can have a bit more of this if you like. It doesn't matter how you go, it's random, so the more random the better, so that we're not all the same all the time. Uh -huh. And then I'm just gonna pop these bits off. Now this is, I often use this, this is wire, but it's coated in uh, paper. You can use string. Um, remember your table, so if, you wear, if you've got wire, just be careful of it scratching on your table. So you choose what you'd like to do, and all you're going to do is just wrap it round and tie it. That's all you're going to do, you're going to make lots of these little bundles. And for a guide, if you're not quite sure how many you want to do, then you could get your piece of string or your measurement in the middle, and you can place them all the way along as you make them, so you know how many you want to do. Should we get cracking on this? Yes. 
So we'll get back to you when we've made some. Now we've made all these bundles. As you can see, they're all different. They're all very random and I quite like that. You can make them neat and tidy if you want to, but I like to put them on the table. I like to nestle like lights or, or baubles or things like that inside them. So I like them lovely and bushy. Now my table's not very wide, but you can make your bundles this thick if you want to, if you've got a really big table um, or a big mantelpiece you want to do, but I'm gonna keep them this sort of width for my table today. So all we do, so uh, we've done all these, even, even mum's done some today, aren't she dad? Yeah. <laughs> mum's been helping. Yeah. So I'm just gonna chop the bottom bit off, so it doesn't have to be too neat. And then we're going to start on the end of our string, our little guide measure. We might start with this one. So choose which one you think is nice for your end piece. Uh, and it depends if you've got somebody sat at the end of your table as well, so you don't want it too far when you're doing your measurement, because if you're making it here, if you're having a place set in here, we want at least a good space, so you can have your plates, glasses, whatever on your table. So you're going to get your end of your string, you're going to place it on, it doesn't have to be right at the end, but I'm just going to, that's just the measure, and you're just going to place it on. You're going to use that same string, I'm using the coated wire, or you could use string, uh, even wool. So I'm just going to tie that on. So just think about your table, so if you've got a precious table or a really nice gloss finish, just be careful of what you're using. And you can cut them off, or sometimes I find that can make sharp edges, little sharp edges, so I just wrap them through and took them in. And then your next piece, you don't want it too sparse, so your next piece is just going to come, you're just going to grab hold your foliage, move it out the way, so that's more or less in the middle for the end, so this time I'm going to go this side of it, so I can see that it's making a nice fan shape, and this one will come this side, so we're making it nice and bushy, rather than flat in the middle. But you could do that if you've got a narrow space or a hallway, a hall table you're doing, but you could do it that way. So the next one, I'm just going to take it to the side and I'm going to pop it on. Again, the idea of this is that it's easy. As soon as you start using wet foam or making anything that's too technical, it's quite difficult. And when you're having a party or you're having a bit of a, uh, it could be Christmas or whatever, you're celebrating, if you make it too difficult, you've got too much to do. And for me, I like to get on with making something nice to eat, making mm. food or helping grandma in the kitchen, rather than sitting doing your flowers. Now don't worry that it doesn't sit flat because I've done it with string. If you did it with wire, this was wire or twigs or something stronger, you'd, it'd be nice and straight. But this, the idea is that we can nestle and put things in. So I don't want it too rigid in the middle. If it comes too rigid, then I can't part them and put things in, so I like to move them on the table. So we're just gonna go all the way along. Yeah, it's a bit big, that one. I'll have that one on the other end. This side's going to go here, and we're just gonna tie that onto there. So we're gonna go all the way along. Granddad's already started this side. I'm trying. <laughs> Thinking you need to keep an eye on Granddad. <laughs> Very trying, isn't it? So when we've got all this finished, we'll get back to you. I think Grandad started that way, so that on the other side, Grandad's mirroring what I've done. You can, if you find that too difficult, because when you get to the middle, you've got to then marry it up, so you've got this and that, and then you've got a hole in the middle. If you find that too difficult, then carry on going this way all the way along, and then just have one end one that you can tuck, tuck in and nestle in. But have a go, it doesn't really matter which way you do it. It's all supposed to be easy. This is just giving you the base. So don't worry how it looks because you're gonna put things in it that's gonna look really nice. So don't worry if you feel it's a bit rough. Just keep going and then your finishing touches will make it lovely. So we'll get this finished, we'll yeah, see you in a minute. Yeah. Granddad and I have finished this. So as you both come along the string, Granddad's this side, I've been this side. I think I've, uh, we're just sort of in the middle. <laughs> But you can check you are right in the middle and then uh, as you can see look we've come this way and these are our ends So granddad has made a nice middle piece Yes, it's just a few end to end just to pop in the middle look, and you can put something on that to cover it So I'm just gonna get my wire and I'm gonna pop that in. I'm gonna pop it in at an angle mm -hmm. Because it's always quite nice to have a garland that's got a middle to it 
So you can have a, a bit of a bauble, uh, lights. So if you can see the string, don't worry about that. If you think anything's a bit too long, and all we're gonna do is just snip a bit off. I'm gonna get this piece. Snip it off. And you also took this into your middle. Now because this is all dry, you can move it about and do whatever you want to it. So you can place that into the middle of the table. Now, because it's uh, it's a bit like a snake, wibbly wobbly, mm -hmm. we can adjust how the bits we want, and we're going to get a few bit more foliage pop in the middle, and then we'll show you the next bit. Finish the middle off. I'm just going to add a bit more foliage. Um, you've got lots of bits of wiring, so all I'm going to do is just tuck it in. Now, I've cut little tips off the end. If you want to, you can pull some of the leaves off, so you've got a bit longer of a stem to stick in. And all you can do is just wiggle it through, find a little space, push it through, and it will go in lovely. You can either do bits that are sticking up or bits that are pointing out. It's up to you. Or if you want to, you can actually make a piece that's uh, sticking up already and place it in. But I think it's also nice just to pop your basic foliage in first and then start adding some nice pieces at the top. So what you want to do, you don't need to make it too obvious that it's the middle because we are going to decorate it. You just literally want to stick these bits in that's the beauty of this. I, I really like doing something that's really simple. You can't go wrong. And the idea is that use whatever you've got in your garden, some rosemary would be nice maybe. And it's not too hard. So you haven't got to think about your phone trays. It's all gonna sit on your table just like this. So we've got a bit of a hole there, which we're gonna decorate with. So this is what you're going to end up with. And you can adjust it onto your table. And of course, this eucalyptus smells beautiful. I think I love the smell of eucalyptus, mm, especially. Very nice. Yeah, it's lovely. And so, you can put it on a windowsill, mantelpiece, anywhere. Yep, yeah, and then you can have bits that drop down. But like I said, if you wanted a bit more structure to it, put it on wire or yeah, stick yeah. or even a very long slat of wood would yeah. give it a bit more structure. But I quite like it where I can move it a little bit on the table. So, it is because you, you can move it around. So it's a, and I an S what, yeah. or a sweeping shape rather than a straight, which would look quite nice on a big table. And it's a easy. Lady table. The thing is, what to do it is easy. You've got so much to do if you're celebrating, cooking, yeah. whether it's Christmas or whatever you, you're celebrating. Mm. It, I like things that are easy because you've got so much to do. Doing masses of flowers everywhere is quite technical. As soon as you start getting your oasis or your foam out, it's very technical of your height, yeah. you've got a lot to fill. So it's, it's easy, you can't go wrong. You just put all your bundles together, you can make it thicker, you just tie it together. Nice long line of, of foliage and then we're going to decorate now. You can't go wrong, it's easy, simple and straightforward. So now we're going to get some bits to decorate to show you different ways that you're going to decorate it. Now we've got you your basic swag if you like. Um, we're going to show you different ways that you could decorate to give you some ideas on how for you to do it. So a bit of inspiration really. So the first idea we're going with today, we've got these oranges. Now the girls, Philippa and Sophie, have been busy and they've uh, been sticking them with cloves to get a lovely smell. But they are still a little bit uh, full of moisture so if you've got uh, a particularly finish on a table, just be careful of what you put on, so mm. just be careful of the oranges. This one, I think we <laughs> ran out of inspiration on yeah, that one. Out. It doesn't so, matter. They're, yeah, they've had, they've had a go. Um, so this, we only got a few because we're just going to show you a few different ideas. Now these are the dried orange slices. Now these, I've just put a hole through and I've tied them with some string. These you, you can make yourself, but they, I've got these from the wholesalers or you can actually buy them online because I mm -hmm. think um, they have a nicer colour than the mm. uh, commercial ones. I've tried to make them before in the oven myself, drying them out, but they don't get this lovely colour still. Yeah. So, But you can make them, it's up to you. Nice Christmas and the last row, festive and the activities. Last yeah, so we've got these and we've got the cinnamon sticks. Now these I've made, uh, I use these for lots of different activities. I've just cooked them. And I've actually glued with a hot glue gun three little sticks together and I put a bit of raffia around them. And I, I leave these in a little uh, airtight box. I use them every year. So you can, whatever you make, apart from the oranges, um, you can keep. These will keep in a nice airtight box as well for next year as well. So ideas, uh, a bit of raffia, 
um, raffia, um, or you could use, I've used this as uh, like a... It's like an essium. Yeah, it? And, it, and it's wired. Essium ribbon. Yeah, and it's wired at the edge, so I just put a bit together, I don't even make a bow sometimes, and I just curl the edges under, because the, you see the wires and, it's, and it frays a little bit, so I just curl them under. So we're going to show you what we do with this. Now, this is the beauty of this type of work. You just get little oranges and you just nestle them in. Come on, Granddad. Oh, so we're just going to do this little end bit so that you just nestle them in. Now these are, you've got your wires on. Now if you want, you can just curl the wires up and nestle them in. If you want to, you can actually wire them on to a piece if you want to see them upright. I like to have them in threes because then you can open them wider or you get a little bit of airflow between. I think that's quite nice. Mm. Or you can have them nice and flat. So for now, we're just going to tuck them under, so it's different sort of ideas. So this is kind of going with oranges, a bit of hessian. Uh, these you can wire again if you want to. Do you not like that one there? <laughs> no, I like I'm having that one there. You're having that one there. They also, smell beautiful. Yeah, they do. It's, it's lovely. I quite like this, this type of look. And then you can have a bit of hessian kind of in the middle. The hessian ribbon's in the middle. Obviously, hide your wires. We're just doing it for a little bit of a... Uh, a show. Now with these you could also, there's lots of different ideas, I've only done a few ideas today but you could put little presents in so people could mm -hmm. take them home with them, um, mm -hmm. all sorts of different ideas but these, this is just like a natural looking one where you've got your oranges, beautiful bright orange, some uh, of these, cinnamon sticks and I think that's a really nice look. You can even have an orange ribbon, nice the orange ribbons. Or colours go well. Yeah, it's really it's nice. nice. Really balance. nice and rustic. So you can have that all the way along. You can even have bits of orange slices on your table settings. Mm -hmm. uh, a bit of rosemary or something. Yeah. You can put rosemary in it. Uh, it's quite nice. So that's one look. But you see how easy it is? Because it's not on an oasis a foam. It's just nice and random on here. You just nestle everything in. And it's really, very nice. it's really very effective. Good idea. Very, very simple. So should we have the next go? Next one, next. Next one. Yeah, so we're going to do this time is baubles. I, I've got many baubles of different colours. I'm a bit fussy sometimes. So the ones that I've got are sparkly. So I think sometimes it's nice to be able to see them so they shout out at you that it's nice and sparkly. So we've got uh, these sort of mirror baubles. Most of them I bought a lot from the supermarket. You can get them online, lots of different places, in the sales usually. And then I've got this twig. Now this is, uh, it's, it's artificial kind of snow looking stuff on the twigs. You can get some snow spray. I've done that before where you sprayed twigs outside and brought them in. But this, I've had this for ages. Um, I don't even know how long I've had it actually. Um, so we're going to use some of this as well. So we've got the glitter and the white to go in. Yeah. So I'm going to chop some of these off. And all we're going to do, again, we're just going to place in. Any kind of random way, mm. you can be, uh, you can put some baubles on Grandad. Oh, I was letting you do Oh, no, 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 come on Grandad. Any type of way you want, just oh. place them in. The big ones, you can place a nice big, great big fat bauble in the middle. And these, mm. again, you're just going to nestle them in. Yeah. So you've got random different well, sizes. Well, not if you was on a windowsill or a mantle, you would actually wire these in, wouldn't you? So they didn't yeah, you can more wire, stable. Yeah. But, but for today, we're just showing how to yeah. do it, so we're not gonna wire, I'm not going to wire them in. Right. And then, show a bit more, a bit more of this, Grandad. Put a few more bits of this in. That's at the end, I think. So the other thing I always think about as well is if you've got children at the table, be careful if you're bringing foliages in from outside. Especially any berries, any poisonous berries that might fall off and children mm. tend to eat them. I've always been... Best to use plastic berries, isn't it? Like yeah. we do on the holly rings. Yeah, I, I always have. And then you can get... I've got uh, these little silver um, tea light holders. I always use LED lights. I'm not going to put them in for the moment, but uh, I'm just going to show you placing them in. But you can put your LED lights in because I usually like to use LED lights because then you can make something Mm -hmm. You can have your dinner, go off, the lights can be turned yes. off, you can leave it and you come back into the kitchen make up tea and it's lovely and glowing, yeah. it's safe. And it's safe, safe yeah. is the safe. main thing. Yeah, I, uh, growing up with the girls, they always used yes. to say to grandma, I don't want candles on the table, That's right. don't light your candles, no. I've got the candles. girls. So I always love LED and all you're going to do, wherever you like, just nestle them in. 
and then these will be glowing. So imagine that you've got lights in here and they're glowing. Need one there. And then it's going to reflect off all these baubles. Mm, that would be nice. And you've got that lovely effect and it's all random and I really like that. And I think that's a really nice effect. It looks like it's spent hours. In actual mm. fact, it's not that hard to do. And because it's not hard to do, you could have one look one day, take it all off and do okay. a different look for your next day. Yep. Especially if you've got different guests for different parties or events or whatever you, you're doing it for. We could do flowers next, but you could do all, all sorts, couldn't you? You could have it yeah. on a table, yeah. uh, summer, summer barbecue, or uh, I don't know, Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Mother's Day full of lovely flowers and hydrangeas from yes. the garden. Look nice. So we'll show you a way of putting your flowers in next. Now, you just have to remember, if you've got a really, really grand table that's got a lovely lacquer on the top, you just need to be careful with your flowers because we don't yes. have any wet foam in. We're going to use some vials to keep them longer, but uh, you will have to be careful with your table because obviously mine doesn't really matter. Well, <laughs> another idea, we're going to put some flowers in. Uh, you don't have to put flowers in because obviously flowers need water. You, uh, your foliage will stay fine for days. Uh, it's your flowers that will be the problem. So I picked up some um, little roses today from the supermarket. Now, if you've got a really nice table and you don't want to use water, then I would suggest that just get your roses on the day of your party or the day you're having the dinner. Just snip the end off, maybe an hour before. You can spray the tops of the petals with uh, water of a mister and then just place them in. And so you've got your nice looking flowers and they will stay like that for quite a few hours without going down. Roses are very good for that. The other ones are orchids, they're very good with that water for quite a while. Um, so this time of year, what else is there? I think there's mostly roses. It's there's, mostly roses. Yeah, there's not an awful lot in the supermarket. Yeah. So obviously outside we don't really have a lot of flowers, do we? So mm. they would stay for quite a few hours like that. Now, if you want to decorate well before then and you really really want some flowers in then you can get these little vials now you fill them with a little bit of water and then they've got a little hole on the top and you push your <coughs> flower in these are fabulous especially if you're doing a garland on a mantelpiece mm. they're good for sticking in but you have to remember it is water and there is a chance that you might spill so when you put them in i always put them in at an angle so your water is actually vile, is not going to be flat. Mm. And you can cover it, so... Yeah, so, you, you're, not, so you're yeah. not putting in this way, you're going to put it in On like that. Mm. So that it's tilted, so you've got less chance of spilling your water. Yeah. So if you've got a table like mine, you don't mind a bit of water being spilled, then these are really good for that. Another yeah. option I do when I'm really uh, struggling, I don't want any water spilling out, I normally put a little bit of cotton wool or tissue paper in the bottom yeah, and make sure idea. that's wet, mm. not loads of water, just so it's a little bit wet and damp in there, then put the uh, yeah. stem in and that, it's obviously not going to last as long that way, but it will stop the water falling out. Mm. So should we do a few of these? Yes, let's do a few of them. On this one, the flowers, I think glass always looks lovely with, with fresh flowers. So you can put your LED lights in the glass, you can have smaller ones if you want to. Now because you've got big glass vases on this one, you can have your real tea, tea lights inside or a real candle because you're not touching any foliage. So that's a really nice thing to do as well. If you're, if you're doing the small tea lights, I still suggest probably do your LED because LEDs, anything definitely. hanging over, can uh, your foliage will catch fire and it yeah. will scorch. So if you've got a big tall glass like this, you can have little tea lights. Yeah. yeah. So have you not got your... I'm not got your scissors, Granddad. I seem to be watching. So any of these guard petals just take off. I mean, these are really small ones bought from the supermarket today. Um, we're just going to pop them in. And then, oh, do you want to pop them in, Granddad? And I'll, mm -hmm. I'll make them. Yeah, I'll pop them in. So there are lots of, you can get lots of nice foliage this time of year. I think one Christmas I bought uh, from the supermarket, we had um, Agapanthus one year. Mm -hmm. I made Agapanthus on a... Um, mantelpiece, but I don't and there'll always be chrysanthemums anyway. Yeah, actually, yeah. chrysanthemums will last quite well without your water. That, that's an, that's another foliage that will last quite well. Make sure you take all your leaves off because obviously uh, that's going to add to bacteria and they will start to rot in the water. So as you can see, you just build it fresh flowers. If it's fresh flowers that you're looking for, 
can just show the guard petals that you're taking off, which are these. Yeah. You just any, take those off. Yeah, you just pull them off. They're the guard petals. On white roses, they're often green. On other colour roses, they can be a slightly darker colour than the actual rose. Yeah, anything that's marked. Um, and the green? No, I usually leave those on, but you can take those off if you want to. If you was making buttonholes, sometimes we take yeah. them off or pin them in. But So these are your guard petals. You can remove those by pulling back. You know, it's up to you if you, you quite like that, if you've grown them. Well, it does make them nice it. and clean and fresh looking. Yeah, yeah. and then you just snip off and then add the I'll put the, the white one in here, I think. Yeah? I think the white one there. And if you want, you can still add some more little tiny tea lights into your fresh flower one as well. So you could go all the long. With right, on this one, we've put all our uh, flowers in. Uh, we've added a few more little tea lights in. So you could dot them either side and all the way along the other side. So you could even do uh, a single colour scheme or mix and match. Maybe red roses for Christmas would look nice. Yeah. So that's a nice idea for that one. And these are LEDs. Yeah. But yeah, because you've got foliage here and I've tucked them in, they are, are really um, stress on LEDs, so you're not going to scorch yeah, any of Yeah, you don't want no problem. No, only in the tall ones you could have your real flames. Yeah. Right, so the idea now we're going to do is how I'm going to do my table this year, and I'm going to use fruit. I quite a little bit of using fruit on a table, yeah. so and it doesn't matter if the children nibble a bit of fruit. Oh, so I thought I might use nice warm tones. So I've gone for figs and some lovely coloured grapes. The other thing you could do is maybe pomegranates, cut them in half, get a lovely red. Mm, Plums are very nice. nice this time yes. of year in. But I've just used these. If I buy too many, then they, they won't get eaten. So I've just bought a few. And I'm going to accent with some gold glittery tea lights. Um, mm -hmm. I thought that would go nice with the colours. Yeah. And I put a nice candle in the middle and two offset either side. Now, I did forget to buy batteries this morning, so I haven't got any spare in the cupboard, I've just checked some yeah. colours because these have a beautiful, when they're on, they have a beautiful uh, warm glow to them. Mm. Now because my kitchen is grey, we've gone for this, uh, I have a grey runner on, um, I like to have underneath, and also it picks out this fantastic grey of <laughs> eucalyptus. So if you're using the uh, sort of red berries, plastic mm. berries, you can have a, a red runner, just accent it or or have one that it could be a contrast or sparkly silver is quite nice yes. and I've got those as well. So, um, or you can just use the wood of your table, it'll look quite nice. Mm. So play around and see what we've got or just put some, I don't know, a bed sheet or something that's a Christmassy yes. one, turn it so you turn it over so you've got a nice long runner. The Quite easily purchased anyway. Yeah, you can get them anywhere now. Yeah. I mean, I've had this one for ages. Normally, I have it outside for when I'm having a barbecue, so it's indoors today. But but yeah, anything will do. Or even ribbon, long ribbon, velvet yes. ribbon is quite nice. Mm. Or lengths of ribbon going this way, mm. um, where your tables, the table settings are, is quite nice as well. I've done that before. But then it's down to time again, and this is done so yeah, uh, to yeah. save time exactly and. You know, and also the lovely idea is that you can change it. So, mm. should we have a crack on with this? Let's see what you're going to do. Now, with these, um, you can just nestle them in, which I quite like. But the other thing you can do is get a bit of a, a stick or... Um, sometimes I think they're called um, hyacinth stitch. You can get the green yeah. ones. Yeah. The idea is they're in the foliage, uh, inside the fruit, so they'll swell up and it should hold it a bit better. But these are very soft. Mm. So if you want, you can just pop these in on the day of your party. Um, I tend to just like to nestle them in, for me. But you can put them on a stick if you want to. But I love them just popping up. And then your grapes, we're just going to... Well, some are, are, are like this already, so you can just pop them in. Are you going to do some granddad? Yeah. Do some? That's quite I a big bunch some. there. So you can have them in big bunches if you want to. We're doing a really big garland or table. But I tend to just get some and pop them in. So of course, just be careful of your table. Grapes can be a bit And this, messy. none of this foliage is poisonous, so it's quite all right to put the, yeah. put the fruit on it. Yeah, but I still wouldn't encourage children just to be nibbling. Mine, mm. if it's in a flower arrangement, they probably won't want to eat it anyway. Yeah. But just nestle it in. 
So that's a good thing about this base. Uh, it, it holds everything, so and you can wiggle it about a bit. So I've wiggled about through these, and then you can do this, you can do this. Yeah. So you can imagine that you've got your tea lights in. <laughs> yeah, LED lights are on. <laughs> Sometimes um, I like to put one at the end. And then if you've got a few little extra ones, you can always like pop them into a little just pile. A few just there. That's fine. These will soon be eaten when the girls come back. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, should we carry on, Granddad, and then we'll have a look how it looks? Yes, yes. So, this is what we're having for our table today. So, we put all the fruit on. We've got some lovely apples from Granddad. Yes. Uh, and I think it looks lovely. Um, I'm just a shame I didn't buy any uh, batteries. <laughs> That's the batteries. Without the batteries, it still looks fine. Right, thank you, Gemma. That looks beautiful. And I'm sure anybody will be able to make their own interpretation of that main base of the foliage. It looks splendid. I'm well pleased with it. It looks very nice. And you see that they've set the table for you. And it looks like we need to sit down to a, a beautiful meal now. Well done, Gemma. Thank you for your yeah, time. Pleasure. And it's, it's so simple. Just get that foliage put it together on a piece of string or wire and get cracking. Just mm -hmm. just place everything in and then you can take it all off, have another look for another day. Yeah. Like I say, it doesn't have to be for festive or celebrations. It can be a barbecue, barbecue table, but outside. Or just a family meal. Yeah, like absolutely. Yeah, absolutely family meal. Um, you know, when grandma comes around and cooking yeah. a nice dinner, I think, I think we need to go now. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think I, we've managed to get away from that so far. Yeah. I think we might have to go and help. <laughs> I think the only thing that's missing is a few batteries. Yeah. <laughs> Do you not bring the batteries? <laughs> no, I forgot the batteries. Do you know what? I know what I'm getting for Christmas now. <laughs> but I'm sure, as you can see, it's, it's an easy but very, very nice display to make. It looks like you've spent hours. Yes, it is yeah. wonderful. Very effective way of doing it. Just have a go and see what you make. Yes, do have a go. Do try these things. Okay, so that's thank you very much to Gemma. All right. Another wonderful video for us. And hopefully, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye now.